Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about composite function and we have a given value that we need to evaluate given a composite function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are two different functions. f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And we have another function, g of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1. And we are asked to simplify and find g of f of x of negative 3. So what is the evaluated value of this given composite function? So let's solve this problem. So what we have here, again, is these two functions. So I will give you the two different methods or the step-by-step -step solution on how to do this. First, diba, we have g of f of x of negative 3. First thing you need to do here, guys, is this. We need to find first g of x, or we need to evaluate first g of f of x before tayo mag-plug in ng negative 3. So, sir, paano po ba yan? Parang ganito lang. Kung meron kang g, okay, g of f of x, kaparehas lang yan ng g of f of x. Ibig sabihin nito guys, yung function f natin, pag ganito yung tura nito ah, your function f, eto, your function f is the input for the function g. So, paano yun? So, gawin na natin dito ha. Sulat ko muna g of f of x. So, ganito. Yung function g natin is originally square root of x plus 1. So, mangyari dito, yung x natin, diba sabi ko sa inyo, the input is f of x. Yung x natin, sa function g, ay papalitan natin ng 2x plus 1. So, parang ganito. Square root of, etong x mo nito, gawin mo siyang 2x plus 1. Kasi siya yung f of x natin. It will become... 2x plus 1. Remember ha, itong x pa lang ang nilalagay natin. Because that x is 2x plus 1. And then another plus 1. Simplify natin to. Your g of f of x is the same as the square root of 2x then 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So this is your g of f of x. Now, sir, paano naman po yung negative 3? Paano natin siya i-evaluate? Itong gagawin natin, guys. To evaluate negative 3, what you need to do is to copy this one. g of f of x of negative 3. So, what will happen here is ito, kukopyin na natin to. Square root of 2x plus 2, we're in dito naman since meron tayong bagong input dito negative 3, i-replace natin sa si variable x using negative 3, so it will become the square root of 2 times your x will be replaced by negative 3, times negative 3 plus 2, when you simplify this, it will become 2 times negative 3 Definitely, that is negative 6 plus 2. And simplify natin itong dalawang integer sa loob. It will become the square root of negative 4. So, we're not yet done, guys. Ba magkamali ka dito? The square root of negative 4 is not 2. Since this one is negative, ang makukuha natin dito ay imaginary number. Or in other words, the square root of negative 4 is simply 2i. Okay? 2i. You can use your calculator or okay, search na pa sa Google, what is the square root of negative 4? That will give you 2 square root of i. So meaning your g of f of x of negative 3 is simply equal to 2i. Okay right, guys, I hope na nakuha niyo yung first example natin. We're not yet done kasi meron pa tayong isang example na yung solve. 
And this is our next example. So let me remove this. Ito yung next example natin. For our next example, meron tayo rito ano, um, fractional form na expression. So let's try. We have here f of r of x of 2. First step, evaluate this muna. So i-rewrite natin to bilang para maano tayo, makapagan na tayo. Makapag-save tayo ng space. So, let us write this bilang f of r of x. Kasi parasa naman sila. Diba? Evaluate muna natin dito. Now, what will happen here is that itong r natin, itong value ng r of x, siya yung magiging input natin for this. So, meron tayong 2x plus 1. It will become 2. And then, yung x natin, ito siya mismo. Gawa ng parenthesis. That is 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Okay? So, bakit pa naging ganyan? Look, we have 2. Yung x mo is replaced by 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. And then, don't forget your original ah, oh, sorry. Uh, this should be plus 1. Okay. Plus 1. So, what you need to do here is to simplify. Multiply mo to distributive property. 2 times x is 4x. Then, 2 times 1 is plus 2 over x minus 1. And then, meron ka rito sa labas na plus 1. Ito na ngayon yung ating evaluated na f of r of x. So, ito yung gagamitin natin mamaya. So, we're done evaluating this. Next naman natin ay yung meron ng input na ganito. So, sulat natin. We have this f of r of x of 2. So, dito, gamitin natin to, ito, magiging 4x plus 2 over x minus 1, ah, uh, sorry, x minus 1 plus 1, and kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong, meron tayong x na numerator, and meron tayong denominator sa x, papalitan natin siya ng 2, okay? So, it will become 4 times 2 minus 2 over x ulit 2 minus 1 plus 1. Simplify your numerator. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 over 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 plus 1. Simplify. This is 8 minus 2 is 6 divided by 1 that is 6 plus 1. Meaning, your f of r, oy, hindi nakita, adjust natin ng konti. Your f of r of x of 2 is equal to 6 plus 1 which is equal to 7. So, yun guys, I hope na nakuha niyo yung method natin or yung step-by-step -step process natin on how to evaluate a composite function with a specific value or input. So, I hope guys na i-follow nyo ako sa akin sa social media accounts. Meron tayong Facebook page. Ako si Teacher Gon. Meron din tayong TikTok account which is Matt Teacher Gon. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!